All right, so now you're going to see the true power of the dope sheet. Okay, for right now, this is my animation here. And what I want to do is now work on upper body. Now, I don't want any keyframes on the upper body. So on the dope sheet, if I don't want any of the keyframes to exist there, first let's kind of look at just the dope sheet. So let's scooch this up. And on just the dope sheet, notice that all things are very well labeled. Well, I can highlight these, these keyframes using B on the keyboard. So if I hit B, I can now box select from spine one all the way to right hand. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. Box select. And then I can hit X on the keyboard and delete keyframes. So I have eliminated all the keyframes on the upper body now. Okay, did that change anything up here? Oh no, absolutely not. I still got movement, okay? That's really neat. Uh, now I have nothing to get in my way. And now I can concentrate on just the upper body. So let's again ignore the lower body and just look at the upper body. So in this position I have the arm in a resting position like this. And you can notice it's the same here. So we're going to be kind of mimicking that. And this is where things change. Um, not everybody walks this way or, you know, I mean, um, there's mannerisms in, in a walk. And we all know that women have different kind of a rhythm going on. And I don't want this to go too far off the body. Okay, like that. And then I'll put the arm in the rest position over on the other side. So right about there. And I always put a little bit of a bend here just as a relaxed state. Okay. So there we go. All right, let's jump into three on the keyboard. Let's hit A, we're highlighting all the bones. And again, I like to update my pose library here. I'll get rid of one, add it back. Remember, one has two of them. So it's on the first frame and last frame. So that's why I set this here. Okay, let's go to frame one. Notice that the upper body did not move at all. So, uh, see? It'll stay in that position because I got rid of all those annoying keyframes that I did not need. So A, insert, loc and rope. Okay. Now, let's go to the last one. Again, I'll click this. Even though it won't update too much because, you know, I haven't messed around with too much, I'm just going to make sure I do that just off of uh, reflex. Insert, look and rope. Now let's look at the major change. What happens? Well, they get reversed. So in this case, I got this arm that goes into a rest position. Sometimes it's hard to see what you're grabbing, so. Like that. And this one goes into more of a position like this. There we go. Say A and insert keyframes. Loc and rope. All right, let's see what that happens. Do, do, do. Perfect. So I hit, let's hit play, which is this little plus mark right here. Let's hit play. Now, 
not bad for a very beginning walk cycle. It's really robotic, but that's what's going to happen until you start learning mannerisms. Um, I do get a little bit into mannerisms, but not much because of the simple fact that, you know, it's, it's one of those things that develop over time. But let's look at some things that we can do in the next video to make it less robotic looking.